Hello folks, Jared here and welcome back to Not Racing Girls and today I kind of wanted to make a follow up with uh, on my Tiburon which I bought around half a year ago, actually more than that, it's been like, I bought it in October 2017 so yeah now it's basically like uh, 8 months so here we are, the car is back on its summer tires and I kind of, kind of wanted to make like a follow up just to basically show you guys what it's like living with a Tiburon and um yeah, I actually kind of want to make a, like a full detailed video on this thing, seeing how there's like not a whole lot of, um, you know, videos about this car. So here's the interior. I actually switched from my energy drinks to Coca-Cola because uh, I had no sugar and stuff. So yeah, there you go. Now, there has been some damage, unfortunately, with this car. And um, basically, what I mean by that is I kind of got a hit and run here, as you guys can see. Uh, this part here is just kind of fucked. So, basically, um, you guys can see the red color here. So, this was, um, I don't know, a few months ago. I'm not totally sure when. I, I just kind of fucking randomly noticed it when, while I was washing the car. And so the car, I did clean it yesterday. Unfortunately though, um, I kind of forgot to clean the interior. So that's gonna be messy. Oh my God, like the fucking angles here are insane. Unfortunately, that thing right there uh, didn't get the money to fix it. So what happened with this is that the previous owner, there was some rust appearing, because you guys can see it has reappeared, but uh, the previous owner basically just tried to fix it all junk. So, uh, yeah, I will need to save up some money, so I got a job now, I'm delivering pizzas, so this should be fixed in a month or two. And other than that, I mean, the car pretty much runs perfectly. Granted, it was uh, in a workshop the first day when it arrived. I think that the rear uh, brake pads basically needed to be replaced. So, there you go. Let's, uh, let's hop into the car now and check out the odometer. Okay, let's start her up. Okay, uh, the engine is pretty much spot on and I need to take it to a service right about now. It's been uh, actually a few thousand kilometers over there, but as you guys can see, uh, it has uh, 145,000 kilometers. It had 1031 when I bought it, so 14,000 kilometers with this car and the only main issue that I have with this is the gas mileage, which, you know, obviously... Uh, for a car like this, it's not too terrible. Um, it's like eight liters per 1,000 kilometer. I mean, per 100 kilometers. Which I'm not sure um, what MPG that is. I'll calculate it, but uh, yeah, it's not. Uh, uh, the the gas is super fucking expensive here. It's basically like 70 euro for a full tank of 55 liters. So there you go. As you guys might notice, the paint here is kind of different. Uh, that's because the car was actually crashed. So, yeah, not by me, the previous owner. So, there you go. There's also some issues with, like, the gaps here now, basically. And uh, also, there's... Uh, the door is not closing perfectly. I mean, it's functional, obviously, but sometimes, you know, it just won't close on its own like that. As you guys can see, there is a bit of uh, scratching here uh, because the door doesn't align 100%. Also, if we pop the hood, I guess I can show you guys where the car was damaged. Also, one neg negative thing about this car, it doesn't have a prop actually holding the hood, so I'm gonna have to hold it with my, with my hand. Oh. As you guys can see, um... There is some damage there, so, fuck. So yeah, it's basically a little bit of complaining, but I do love my car, would never trade it. Basically, I, I know it's not perfect, but for a first car, I mean, oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. I kind of want to repaint the spoiler here, because as you guys can see, it's, it's faded. And you, like, it's highly unlikely that this would be, you know, the way it was supposed to be coming from the factory. However, when you look on this side, as you guys can see, this is the way it was supposed to be. And then the rest just faded. Thankfully, I got this, like, uh, uh, carbon fiber, well, 
it, it's basically a wrap over it which is also on the viper there and uh, on the what is it the fucking mirrors but yeah basically here's my car i'm super happy with it and um well a full review coming on uh probably in a few weeks we'll see about that